Credentials, prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing to He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great teams. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of Modesto, California, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Single leg takedown attempt here. And did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man. I jumped up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high level wrestling. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. 
He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice head kick. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just over three minutes now to go. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jet. Oh, good kicks there. Trying to do. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man! Oh, what a punch. Throwing with authority. He blocks the shot. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice strike. Can't take many of those, you better check. Right hand on point. Huge block there. And he landed the right hand there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Connects with a right. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. And he caught the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful lead on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number go, guys, of fight. kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, 
nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Just misses there with the left. Big kick. Oh. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Grind it out. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his oh. hip into that kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Liver kick. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Cable's inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about 
chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Straight punch lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, big left hand there. Big kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Throwing that jab, no good. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Defense. Pretty good right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Here comes that kick now, be ready. Powerful leg kick lands. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big kick land. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. Hook attempt, no good. And that one cut him open. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow. Whoa! News hurt, serve him up, go get him.
Nicely postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Beautiful head kick. Visibly limping here. Caught the kick. Big head kick land. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on. Let go. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face, such a big spot. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. That shot blocked by Lee. Real quick leg kick. Yet another knee, and sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Nice defense there. Huge block. Kick to the body by Lee. Just over two minutes to go. He missed with that jab attempt there. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. The right hand just misses. He blocks the punch. Looking to set up that head kick. Big body kick land. Under a minute now to go. Move for me. Come on. Keep those feet moving. 
Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, "I wish I was a little bit taller." You're a baller, though. Punch coming. It's blocked. Oh, collar tie. Lee gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough. But you just don't want to absorb too many more of those. Come on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Good start for him too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Look at how he turns his hips over when he throws that kick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because... Oh! He's out! He got him! Woo! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the Ladies octagon. Bruce Buffer with Edward the official Alvarez decision. To stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party. Tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.